Hello everyone, my name is Drew. I hope you're having a great day. Today what I want to do is expand on our previous video where we downloaded, compiled, and ran the uh, Magenta kernel for Fuchsia. Today what I want to do is look at the Fuchsia manifest and specifically uh, use that manifest which is a listing of all the repositories in this umbrella called Fuchsia. Um, install those packages, uh, build uh, Fuchsia itself, and then run it from the command line again. But I don't want to do this from the command line piecemeal. I don't want to type in each instruction. So what I've done, I've created a bash script. This is going to do all those things that we really don't want to do ourselves. So number one, the, the first step on line seven is it's going to download any packages that you need, but you don't have in order to finish the process. Uh, so we need go language, uh, we need to uh, get, curl, so forth. Uh, the next thing we're going to do on line 9 is create a new checkout. Now, this is where the script is going to create a sibling folder called Fuchsia. And in that folder, it is going to download uh, many different packages uh, from various repositories. I think the last time I did it, it was 11 folders, but that is subject to change, certainly. The next thing we need to do after we get everything downloaded in line 16 is to actually build Fuchsia itself. And we're going to run a Python script as well as use Ninja to actually emit uh, the binaries uh, in the out folder. Next thing we need to do is build Magenta like we did the last time. We just need to change the directory and then use uh, make to build the kernel. Uh, last thing we're going to do after we get everything downloaded and everything is made and we have all of our tool chains and all of our outputs is to run uh, Fuchsia itself. We're going to boot Fuchsia in Quick Emulator. A link to this script is the second link in the description below. Before we run the script, I want to show you an output log. I just teed this off to a file the last time I ran the script. Everything's in here that you should get and what you should expect. If you have any questions about the output, just come and look at this link. It is the third link in the description below. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Let's run the Fuchsia script. I want to show you uh, the directory folder or structure on the uh, right hand side and so for you it's going to take about 30 seconds in the video uh, in real time is a little over 20 minutes enjoy Okay, now that we have a command prompt, let's get into running some uh, small applets. Uh, nothing too terribly impressive. Uh, the first one is Fortune. And every time you run it, it displays a, a different uh, statement or a fortune for you. Maybe you have to reboot to get a different one. Uh, but it can display different uh, uh, output. And that's the entire point here. Uh, we've run an applet. It can access standard out and it can just display a message here. So if we go from there, uh, the next application or next applet is interesting uh it takes input from the command line and it uses that input uh and displays it on on the uh command line or on the console rather um so we go calse now let's just type in calse without any uh, uh parameters and it will give us a little bit of help here it says the usage is calse and then a message so let's do that again and the message would be moo and what we get is a picture of a cow saying moo so the next thing i want to show you and there's there's quite a few other applets but before i do so i actually want to exit i don't want to uh run fuchsia in the console the way i have been doing um so i'm going to go Control a and then press x that way i exit and now i'm going to run the same thing again except um there's an additional dash g parameter and what that allows us to do or what it will do is create a new window for us and we're running with a graphical frame buffer and you'll see what happens when we boot here so we immediately get a new window for quick emulator and we have to just wait and let it boot and the reason why i want this is with four uh individual consoles 
And that is going to be important because some of the applications that have been written so far, uh, or applets rather, uh, one like clock, you can't exit. W once you run that command, uh, the only thing that you can do is uh, just let it run. So I'm going to use, consume some of my uh, terminals just to run a single program. So I need to click here and I'm going to use uh, on the, the first page we have here is just a, a boot log. It's like D message or D log. Um, there's nothing you can really do here. It's going to uh, display everything that the operating system does uh, depending on what commands you enter. So in order to get to the next terminal, I'm going to have to press F, F2. So you can go to the right by hitting F2 and you go back to the left by in, uh, hitting F1. So F2. Now we're at, we're at MX Console 1 and I'm going to do a listing our four standard uh, folders so far. Dev is a virtual uh, folder for devices. Boot is the most interesting of all uh, folders. It contains a bin and applications folder, and we're, that's what we're going to get into. And the last two, temp never seems to be used uh, uh, so far anyway, and data as well. Um, so let's change directories into boot. I'm going to do a directory listing. Bin docs, lib source, test, and apps. So uh, bin and apps, those are the most important. Docs only contains a uh, license file. Uh, lib is support for the operating system. Uh, source as well. And tests uh, have some test applications. So let's uh, change directory into bin. Uh, do a directory listing. <clears throat> and we get several applications or applets that we can run. Uh, the first one that I want to do here, I'll go ahead and waste or, or lock up this uh, uh, terminal by typing in clock. And if, uh, if you'll see where my cursor is, it's gonna display a clock here. The time is wrong. Uh, I don't know how to set the time, uh, but it, it does this thing. And it's saying right now that it's 6.32 p.m. Testing the system clock is getting information from uh, further down in the system, and it's displaying that on the screen. Military time is kind of curious, but hey, uh, it does work. So now that we can't exit this application, uh, Control C, Control X, Control S, none of that stuff works in order to exit. Um, the only thing that we can do from here is just press F2. We go to our next console and we do the same thing over again. So we're going to change directories into boot, uh, bin, <clears throat> do a listing. And what are some other? One, one thing that's interesting here, and it may become more useful as time goes on is to get your log, your boot log. Um, you can do, you can type in D log and everything that has occurred up to this point uh, is, is displayed on the screen. Now I do not know, and redirection does not work. Um, I do not know how to get this information outside of Quick Emulator and be able to say paste it as a GitHub gist. Uh, as, as of yet, I don't know how to do that, but I'm sure that's coming. So let's go and do a directory listing again. VM test with an S. Okay, so what happened was uh, we were running the uh, virtual machine uh, tests for Dart and the uh, virtual machine caused a kernel panic or one of the tests did either way and we had to reboot. So um, let's do a change directory, get back up. So that was Ben, uh, let's go over to apps, uh, do a listing. There seem to be various things in here that we can run, but when you try to run them, uh, they all explode. So one, one, I'm just going to give you a test here. Uh, apps. And you do have to type in the full path here. If you type in just the name of the uh, applet, then it's going to expect it to be in the boot bin folder. Uh, and also the, the period for current directory does not work. So you have to type in the entire uh, path. And let's just go and do shapes. I do believe that this is a flutter based uh, app, but every time I run it, it gets an invalid handle. 
um, and then it just bombs out. Uh, I do want to get this thing booting up with a graphical front end. Now, keep in mind, Flutter is the material design uh, user interface or front end for Fuchsia. And it, whenever I figure out how to use it, whenever I figure out how to boot uh, Fuchsia with Flutter, you will be the second to know. As soon as I do that, I will create uh, another video about it. For now, what I'm going to do, uh, now that I've got actual fl uh, sorry, Fuchsia uh, repository downloaded and we are able to boot in Quick Emulator, my next video, and it's something that I'm going to work on post haste, is getting this to boot at least a Magenta kernel on a Raspberry Pi 3. So <clears throat> if you want to be notified when that happens, uh, click the subscribe button and the moment I open uh, upload that video, you will be given a notification by uh, YouTube. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, please click the thumbs up button. And again, if you want notifications for any of the videos to get uploaded in the future, please click the subscribe button. Thank you so much.